Hi guys, I'm Muhammad Nabil. Welcome to Heritage Times. Right now, I'm standing in the city of Alain in Abu Dhabi, outside the Al Jahili Fort, and we're here to explore and let's see what's inside. So. Al Jahili Fort is the largest traditional mud brick fort of the UAE, located in Alain, the garden city of UAE. The construction of this fort began in 1891 and was completed by 1898. It served as the summer residence of Sheikh Zayed bin Khalifa Al Nahyan. And to be more specific, this is not the first president of the UAE, but this is Zayed the first, who, who was the ruler of Abu Dhabi between 1855 and 1909. It has also served as the residence for many members of the Al Nahyan family thereafter. So right now we're standing on one of the guard towers of the Al Jahili Fort. This tower was used to guard the uh, oasis as well as the Al Falaj, which is the underground channel system in Alain. The fort here contains the uh, watchtower. It contains an inner fort with four guarded towers as well, as well as a small mosque located towards the south end of the fort. So let's come inside the fort. So the fort, in and of itself, has a lot of historical significance, especially being in Alain. Uh, Alain is located near the borders, and um, near the construction of this uh, fort, the concept of nationalism was evolving. So by the time of the construction of this fort, it was becoming increasingly necessary to build a tower of this sort to have protection in a city that is located so close to the borders, and. Uh, This fort provided just that. In 2007, the Abu Dhabi Authority of Culture and Heritage took over the restoration of a lot of forts in the UAE. The first project being this one, the Al Jahili Fort. And uh, as we can see now, in the modern era of this fort, there is a temporary exhibition center, a permanent exhibition center, uh, which hosts a lot of events, which hosts a lot of uh, live events, uh, including dance and music and other cultural events of the sort. So we're coming down from the watchtower of the Al Jahili Fort, and we're now we're going to explore what's over there. So as you can see on my right side, that's the tower, the watchtower that we were talking about, and now we're going to move toward the inner fort over here. Now we've seen the watchtowers, the inner fort. Now we're going to be moving into the old fort present in the Al Jahili Fort. So you can look around me. So as you can see, we are entering the room which was used to protect you from the scorching heat of the sun. As you can see, the voice around me is echoing. The, uh, this room is surrounded; com is completely surrounded by mud. It has a thick layering, and it's quite cool inside this room as compared to the outside. So let's go outside, back to the old fort. So as you can see, this has been quite a unique experience, a marvelous, marvelous experience. It's it's wonderful uh, how they came up with these things back in the day. So as you can see around me, the roof of this courtyard has been made using the, the leaves of a palm tree as well as the bark of the palm tree, and uh, there are light um, lamps overhead which were lighted using kerosene oil back in the day. So it's really a wonderful experience of how of the life of That a person used to live at in those times. So right in front of me is the majlis where men used to sit around and uh, discuss the affairs of the day and take strategic decisions over here. This is very similar to Indian. Uh, so this is very similar to the Indian culture where we can see the zanan khana where women sit 
inside of the household and the and the diwan khana located outside of the house where the men sit and well do thing uh, is very very similar to the majlis so the majlis in which we are entering right now is also very similar to the room that we saw at the other end of the fort uh inside of the sport again has another room which is very cool you can feel the difference in temperature between here and there and there's another room leading up inside so this is again similar to that end of the fort you can hear my voice echoing because um it's a large layer of uh, mud over here and the room is very cool So that's it from our side from Heritage Times. We visited the city of Aland to show you the rich cultural heritage that is uh, that cannot be seen uh, present in the Gulf in the Middle East. And uh, we expect and we hope that the next time that you are in UAE and if you visit the city of Aland that you will certainly come to this beautiful place. Uh we've shown you the different parts of the Al Jahili of the Jahili fort. There is the what the inner fort, the old fort. the various watch towers as well as the mosque located toward the south of the fort so as you can see that is the entrance of the al jahili fort and uh, you can see the ex beautiful exterior of the fort from outside of here right now we're moving toward the south end of the fort going to the mosque uh, as you as you will see over there So this is the mosque of the Jahili Fort. It was built right around the time uh, during the construction of the fort itself. And as you can see over here, you can view the watchtower from outside of the fort. So in up till 1971, the uh, before the creation of the new barracks, the army used to live over here. And after that, when the new barracks were constructed, the army started moving out. So that's it from our side from Heritage Times. Uh this was our effort to bring to you the culture of the Gulf that is not very often shown. And we hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, any uh any way we can improve these videos then please do comment, please like the video and share your review with us. So till then, it's a goodbye from Heritage Times. Take care.